One of the most useful activities that we can add to our course is a page. To add a page, click on Add an Activity or Resource, then scroll to the bottom of the list, select Page, and click Add. A page is used to display static information or content to our students. Think about it like a worksheet that you would hand out at the beginning of a lesson. There are two required fields for a page. The name of the page and the page content. Every activity or resource in Moodle has additional settings that we can use to customize our page. For these lessons, we won't go through all of these settings. We'll just learn how to modify a few important settings. Most of these settings will be identical for all activities and resources that we can add to our course. To view these settings, click on the title to expand them. An important setting to enable while you are working on an activity or resource is the availability option under the common module settings. Under the availability dropdown, select hide from students. Now, students will not be able to view this activity or resource while we are working on it. Once it's ready, we can change the setting to show on course page to make it available to our students. The restrict access settings will allow us to set when we want a certain activity or resource to be available to students. If we click on the add restriction button, we can see some of the options that we have. We won't add any restrictions to this page. Hit cancel to exit the menu. Under the activity completion settings, we can set how we would like our activity or resource to be marked as complete. This is important for keeping track of a student's progress through the course. By default, all activities are set to students can manually mark the activity as completed. This will display a checkbox next to the activity that students will be able to check when they are done with the activity. To mark activities as completed automatically, click on the drop-down and click Show activity as completed when conditions are met. Here we can set what conditions must be met for this activity to be complete. For the page element, we just have one option. The only requirement is that students need to view this activity to mark it as complete. 